Well, a few months back, I had made these postcards out of some foam stamps that I had made. And I still had a whole bunch of these cards. Um, if you remember, for those of that um, saw this video, I had these cards um, that looked like, well, they, before I painted them, they looked like these. These were from um, a game called Outburst, and these were just some cards that, uh, I don't know how the game is played, actually, but there was about about a hundred of these in a box for like about a dollar. So I bought these. Then at a different stage I painted almost all of them with all these kind of crazy goofy colors. I just, I did it with my jelly plate. I just put some random colors and put them on there and did that. And then at some point was when I did the uh, I did my postcards with the um, foam stamps that I had made of these little animals. I have a video of that. But I still had a bunch of these cards that were already all painted up. So I thought, hmm, I have a bunch of napkins. And so I decided to make some of them with um, um, different um, scraps of napkins that I had. So I wanted to show you how those came out. They're all different, of course. Um, also, what I did, you can see on here, um, I had some um, drywall spackling, and I got some of my stencils and just put some different stencils on all of them just to see how it would look, and then came back and painted some. Some I put chalk on them. Uh, some, uh, I think I'd put the oil pastel. I just, I did a little bit of everything on these. <laughs> I, I just kind of used everything. But um, they came out a little different. Some are dark, some are bright. But I thought they were fun. And it might be something that you guys can do with uh, just scraps that you have. I'm sure you could find these... Um, these um, game cards, you know, different sizes, different shapes. These happen to be, these are six by four and a half, so they're perfect for postcards. So this is uh, one of them, how they came out. Uh, this one's a little faint. This one is a palm tree. I don't, I'm not sure if you can see it. And then with my stencil, I put the um, drywall compound I used. Um, and it says journey. This one, I really like this one because I'm partial to peacocks, I guess. And so I like the way that one came out. And some butterflies. Some other butterflies. There's still some work to do on some of these because my um, white gel pen, it just... Um, it's empty. So the next couple of days I'm going to go get me some more. I'm going to do some highlighting on all of these. <clears throat> Excuse me. Just to make it pop a little bit more. I had some napkins that had birds. So I incorporated a lot of those bird ones in these. I had one with a shoe. That was gifted to me. That was cute. Some more little birds. And again, here I did the, the stenciling. And you know, depend. You could even use you know the same napkins over and over again, because they you know, are translucent when you put them on there, and whatever colors you have in the background, it's going to make them look different anyway. So quite a few of them, I I did the same one, but they look different because of the background. More birds. Like I said, you know, there's still some outlining I want to do to make some of the things pop out a little bit more. 
but not sure when I would get to that. So I thought I just wanted to show these to you. Because I know a lot of you do a lot of corresponding. And with the new year coming, I don't know how many of you send out cards, but this might be an idea that you might want to do. More birds. Peacocks. I love peacocks. Smart. So for those of you that have never worked with the napkins before, um, I have a few here. These I've just glued down. I haven't done any of the stenciling on it. These I might actually put some words. I'm not sure yet how I want to finish these, but these are some other napkins that I had. I like how these came out too. And I'm sure you guys, especially those of you in the group that have been doing the napkin swaps, this would be something fun for you guys to do with those. And so I have one here, just in case there's a few of you that haven't done this before. Most of these napkins have at least two layers, some even three. But make sure you take all the layers off or else they're going to buckle and they're going to look um, pretty sad once you try to glue them down. Let me... And these that I glue down, sometimes I just use the regular white glue and then sometimes I do Mod Podge it you know I switch it up I just happen to have some Mod Podge here so I'll do that but it's just you know really simple it's going to take you more time to get off those layers than to actually do the card I spend more time taking those layers off. That's why I did it off off camera because I'd be here for a half hour trying to get those all off. And then just gently, because I've torn apart a lot of these being too rough and maybe having too much glue, just have it sit down, try to get all the visible bubbles out. And then after it's dry, then you can come back. And put a heavier, a heavier coat on, on that to make it a lot more durable. I'll do another one real quick here. But it's fun and easy. Quick gratification. And it's fun. Then you can mail it off to some friends. Or create little, a little album for yourself made up of these, or stick it in some happy mail with some other stuff. Do all kinds of fun things. I see I'm starting to overwork it and it's starting to. So leave it alone, Rosemary, and then come back later. Once it's dry, then I can come back and put another coat on that. Right there. And I have one more. Oops, and I think I forgot to take the layers off of that one. Oh, that one wasn't too bad. Okay, there you go. See, that one had, that one had two layers on there. So be careful that you take all the layers off. Or you'll have a disaster. You 
got the idea. It's easy. And I think it gives a, a very dramatic look for some very little effort. On a lot of these, what I did is I um, did the edges with some kind of a contrasting color. So you might want to do that. And you can use anything that you have, you know. I think what I used, what did I use on here? I just used these, the oil pastels, but um, you can use the water soluble ones if you have, or just some pencils, or like I'm going to do later, I'm going to come back in and fine tune them with a little bit of the um, white. See how I did all my other cards? Um, yeah, see, it just... It just kind of makes them all kind of pop when you put the white gel pen on there. I've got some silver on some of these too, in addition to that. And I put sparklies. Oh, I did a lot of stuff on these. But anyway, I hope you guys get inspired to do something like that. You could even make tags. If you don't want to make the postcards, they make really pretty tags. And what I also do is, I've just started, I'll have to make another video on this, but I also make these little miniature, I don't think I have any fun. No, I don't. But I do these little miniature calendars. And, um, and as I'm talking, I'm thinking it would look kind of cute if maybe I did napkins on top of that. Because what I do, I've already got a lot of these little calendars and um, I download these and I just cut them up and staple them together. So that's for the coming year. And then, oh, wait a minute. It might look cute on here. Uh-huh. You know. <laughs> you never know. I mean, uh, I've got somewhere where it has the 2016 that was off the top. I can cut that up. Let's see. And I can always do something. Trim this out. Put that on there. Hello, look how cute. But what I normally do is I get I get a, I think it's two and a half by two and a half by five, six. What is it? I forget already right now. Um I think it's three by six, two and a half, three by six. And then I put these on here, and then I put some kind of a picture, punch a hole, put a little tag, and they are really, really cute. And those make a nice little gift, too. But as I'm looking at this, hmm, maybe I should be putting them, putting them on here. Mm-hmm. Oh, well. See? I did this to inspire you guys, and I think I inspired myself, so isn't that as exciting? Alrighty then. Well, let's see what you guys do with this, and I'm going to finish all these up and have some more fun and see what other kind of ideas I come up with. So I, I hope you enjoy, and I hope that um, um, it inspires you to try something different. Alright, thanks. Bye.